Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you the standard form of the absorbing Markov chain. Again, what does that mean? Well, a, an absorbing Markov chain is a situation where one of the states ends up absorbing all of the population and the other states end up with zero of the population. That happens, for example, when here we have the, two, the from states and the two states. So we have A, B, C. Those could be representative stores A, B, and C. So we can see that Whatever customer goes to A, 100% of all the customers remain at A, and 0% of the customers will go to B and C. That is usually the hallmark of an absorbing Markov chain. Notice that from the customers that go to B, some of them will go to A, and some of them will go to C, from B to A, and from C to A. And you can also see that there that'll will be customers going between B and C, back and forth, but since none of the customers that go to A go to any other stores, eventually all the customers will migrate to A in a situation like this. So that's what we call an absorbing Markov chain. If we multiply the, the initial state times the transition matrix often enough, we'll end up in a situation with all the customers in A and none of the customers in B and C. So here we have what we call this, the uh, standard form of how we then calculate the end result. And notice that Remember that if we take the initial state and multiply it times the transition matrix to the n power where n is a very large number, we'll end up with a stable matrix. Or we can say that the stable matrix can be found by taking the initial matrix, the initial state matrix, and multiplying that times the stable transition matrix. So here we're going to show you how to find the stable transition matrix or the matrix, the transition matrix raised to the n power where n becomes a very large number. So we take the transition matrix right here and we divide it into four quadrants. So up in the upper left, we have the identity matrix. Here we have the R matrix. There we have the zero matrix. And there we have the Q matrix. And then we can say that P to the N power, when N becomes a really big number, or in, in essence, the stable transition matrix will be equal to the identity matrix, the zero matrix, the Q sub N matrix, where Q sub N will be all zero, so we end up with all zeros over here. And here we end up with the F matrix times the R matrix. So the R matrix is right here, which is this matrix right there. And the F matrix is what we call the fundamental matrix. And that can be found by taking the identity matrix minus the Q matrix. So this minus this. Now, of course, we don't take a one by one and subtract the two by two. We're going to turn this into a two by two identity matrix. We then take the difference of those two matrices, take the inverse of that, and then we multiply the times the, the R matrix, which is over here, those two numbers right there, and then we have a, a, what we call a stable transition matrix. And then when we multiply the initial state times the stable transition matrix, we end up with the final stable, uh, the stable state matrix. And that's what we mean by the standard form of the absorbing Markov chains. In the next video, I'll show you to actually calculate something like this using this particular format. Remember, this format is different from what I showed you in earlier videos because we have the from states on the left side and the two states on the top. If your book has the from states at the top and the two states on the right side, you have to go look at these other videos where I showed you how to do it like that as well. So this is this different technique. And again, there's different techniques in different textbooks and they're a little bit different. So I want to show you both ways of doing that. And that's how it's done.